So now we have the four instances of this family, and let's try to run a schedule. And we'll right click on schedule, and then click on new schedule. Now this is a specialty equipment family, so we'll browse down to specialty equipment, and then we'll start a new schedule. And we'll look through this list, and I don't see parameter A, I don't see width, length, or height on this list. And that is because I made them as family parameters. And when you make a family parameter, like I said before, it's locked in that family. The project that you put that family into can't access that information. So what we need to do in order for this project to access that information in these family files is we need to make them shared parameters. So what I'm going to do is go back to the family file. And I'm going to switch between views by uh, clicking on Control Tab. And that, so that cycles through all of the views that I have currently open. Now we're back into the family file. And what I'm going to do is we have to delete these family parameters because they're family parameters that they can't be converted to shared parameters or anything like that. So we're going to click on each one of these and remove them because we want the project to be able to read them and we need to be able to schedule them from the project, including this parameter A. Now what I need to do is create shared parameters. So the first thing to do is I'm going to go to the Manage tab and then click on Shared Parameters. Now currently there is no shared parameter file for this project. So, and I know that because this is blank right here. So the first thing that we have to do is create a shared parameter file. Now the shared parameter file is just a text file, but it contains all of the shared parameters for a particular project. So click on Create, and I'm just going to put this in the shared parameters folder for this particular project, and I'm just going to leave it at the default name of shared parameters. So now it's saved that, that shared parameter file, but the shared parameter file is empty. So we have to add information. Now it's, it, has, it says parameters right here, and then it has groups under this. In this pr shared parameter file, you group the parameters into groups. And so in this case, I'm just going to call it specialty equipment. I typically end up making the groups uh, named by category. Not always, but a lot of times I end up naming them by category. So now we have the parameter group. Now, we can, now that we have that group, we can add parameters to it. So under parameters, once you have the group, the new button becomes available. So click on new, and we're going to add width as one of our shared parameters, and it's a length parameter down here. Now, one of the, the important thing is that once you put this shared parameter in this list, you can't really edit it. Um, if you make a mistake or you put something in the wrong category or something like that, the only way to rectify the situation is to delete it and do it again. So I'm going to click New, and this one's going to be Length, and it is a length parameter. Click New again, and this is going to be Height and it's also a length parameter. And then I'm going to add our text parameter, and that is parameter A. This could be anything. And that is not a length parameter, it is actually a text parameter. And we'll say OK. So those are the four parameters that we're going to deal with right now. So that, that creates the parameters in that text file, but they, we haven't actually added them to the family yet. So I'm going to click, click OK there. Now when I deleted the, the family parameters, it didn't delete these dimensions. So it just deleted the parameter. So now I can click on these dimensions and add up another parameter, except in, instead of choosing a family parameter, I'm going to click on Shared Parameter. And then once I click on Shared Parameter, it takes me to that text file. And so if I had multiple parameter groups, I could select the group that I need, and then it lists all of those parameters here. So this one is width. So I click on width, and it's going to be a type under dimensions, OK. Click on this dimension here, say add parameter, click on shared, 
and then we select the shared parameter that we want to use. In this case, it's going to be length, and then type parameter, dimensions, OK. The next one, I'm going to go ahead and add parameter A. So to do that, because it's a text parameter and not actually tied to the geometry itself, we go to family types, and then here I say under parameters, click on add, select shared parameters, select parameter A, and it is a type parameter. It's a text parameter, but we're going to actually put it into the identity data group. And so that adds it to our list right here. Click OK. And we'll go back to the front elevation where we have the height. And we'll click on that dimension. And the last parameter will add shared, select, and it is height right here. Click OK. It's a type parameter in the dimensions group. OK. So now we have all of those shared parameters in this file. So when you look at it from here, it looks exactly the same as it did previously when we had just the family parameters. But the difference here is that when I click on width and I say modify, you can see it says the shared parameter is checked. And all of this information down here is grayed out because this information is being read from that shared parameter. Now, the reason you use the shared parameter is that that information, that parameter, can be read by this family file. And that information can also be read from the project file as well. So we'll click the Save button to save this family. And I'm going to reload it back into the project again. I'm going to overwrite the existing version and its parameter values. And now, there's one more step that I have to do. These parameters contained in this family are shared parameters. So this project is capable of reading them. But as of right now, it, needs, it doesn't know what they are because I haven't added those shared parameters to the project file. So to add them to the project file, I go up here to Manage, and I click on Project Parameters. Now this is where it gets confusing for some people. Uh, because the shared, par the shared parameters are actually project parameters. Just like the shared parameters are actually family parameters. It's just when they're shared, projects and families both can read the same information. But in order for this project to read it, I have to actually add them to this file. So I'm going to click on Add as a project parameter, click on Shared, and then I'm going to select each of these. You have to do them one at a time, unfortunately. So it's going to be a type parameter. It's going to be under dimensions. This is the height, I believe, is what I clicked. And we have to add it to a category. So it, this is a, a specialty equipment family. So I'm going to click on specialty equipment. And so what this means is that particular shared parameter will be available in all specialty equipment families from this point forward. So that's our height. Click on Add again, Shared Parameter, Select. We'll add the length. It's going to be a Type Parameter, Dimensions. Scroll to Specialty Equipment, OK. So that adds it. Add another one, Shared Parameter, Select. We'll add Parameter A. And we'll switch this to say, actually, I'm going to make it an Instance Parameter. So we'll switch this to the identity data, and then we'll scroll down to specialty equipment, add it to that category, and then the last one is width, and it's a in the dimension group type category. Scroll down to specialty equipment and add that.